Chosen, you, you spoke on Saturday after the game about your disappointment with some fans' uh, lack of support for Romelu. Do you feel that they need to be more patient and understanding with, with the players at times? Because you spoke about how you were happy with his contribution, but what the fans weren't. Look, the fans are the fans, and I also told that the fans, they pay their tickets and uh, they are free to express themselves the way they, they want to express. But my job is, uh, when I feel they deserve, is to protect my players. Um, and I think Romelu is one, is one of the, the players that should be untouchable in terms of, of um, the respect from, from everyone. It's not one goal or it's not one ball that hit the post or it's not one save by the opposite goalkeeper that can that can make um, Romelu contribution below a top level. He's, he's playing extremely well for us. And yes, I have to protect my players when I feel the players deserved. And uh, Romelu always deserve because he's what he does for the team. What he does for the team is. Uh, is fantastic and play football for a striker is not just about scoring goals so for me untouchable in my team and I think he should be in, untouchable also in in the support and the respect that he deserves from the fans but I repeat the fans are the fans they pay their tickets they do what they want but as a manager I feel the duty to to protect my players when I feel they deserve. Pergunta do Brasil. Estou com o braço levantado aqui no meio da Tudo bem? É, quando você olha para a tradição do Manchester United, é, é claro que é natural esperar uma classificação para as oitavas de final. Mas observando a realidade do clube e esse processo de reconstrução que você comanda, você acredita que se pode analisar essa classificação que pode vir nessa rodada como mais uma conquista do que uma obrigação do Manchester United? Nós, na época passada, estávamos na Europa League, regressamos à Champions, dois anos depois, mas num, num ano em que o Manchester foi eliminado na fase, na fase de grupos, se não estou equivocado pelo PSV Eindhoven, e não sei se foi o Basileia ou outra equipa, Aparecida, mas uh, acho que é a consequência lógica da nossa, da nossa evolução. Uh, jogámos a Europa League, mas, mas ganhámos-la. Estamos numa posição positiva na, na Premier League. Somos, na minha opinião, só na minha opinião melhor equipa do que aquilo que éramos no ano, no ano passado, acho que se nos qualificarmos é a consequência normal da nossa qualidade como, como equipa. Uh, the question was uh, regarding uh, if uh, um, Man United goes through to the last uh, 16, if uh, it was kind of uh, a classic result or, or a yes, tradition or could be classed as an, ach an achievement. And the manager uh, answered that um, uh, we played the, the, the Europa League and then we returned to the champions. Um, two years later, uh, and uh, we, we, uh, Man United was eliminated, in fact, not mistaken by PSG or Basel, uh, something like that. Uh, but um, I think this is uh, quite a, a logic consequence of evolution. Um, we played the, the Europa League and won it. So um, my team now are, are playing in the Champions League and I think um, we are much better than, than last year or two years ago. That's my opinion. Jose, is, is Romelu in a sense like an old-fashioned striker who can be quiet for long periods but do the important thing? I remember when you bought him, you said you weren't interested in him dropping deep or linking up. You just wanted him up on the last defender and scoring goals and making chances. And in that sense, he's doing the job for you. I don't think he's quiet at all. 
ask all the vials and Vertong and then Dyer if he was quiet. And they are some of the best central defenders in in football world. I don't think he's quiet at all. I think the point is scoring goals or not scoring goals because in the end is what people sometimes analyze. But he's not quiet at all. <laughs>